Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to show you how to prepare your own diversity DVR screen using this 4.3 inch LCD monitor, the Ishin Pro DVR, of course you can also use this version, and the Ishin Pro 58 RX which is probably the cheapest diversity receiver that has an OLED screen. The voltage that the, this monitor is using is 12 volts which means 3S LiPo battery is going to be fine. I already made this adapter when I used it in order to test the Pro 58 RX. So all I need to do is just connect a 3 cells LiPo battery to this input here, connect it to the diversity receiver and I will have to also use the video out of the Pro DVR in order to connect it to the monitor. So basically what I intend to do is just to put the diversity receiver and the DVR on the back of this monitor. I think it's going to be cool to carry this around and even just use it indoors at home to check if the video transmission of my quadcopters are properly working. I think that the cleanest way to connect the voltage and the video in is just to open it up from the bottom and then you can directly solder it to the board. It's going to be easier than using these wires. It's going to be much cleaner. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to solder directly a wire from the voltage in and the ground to the board and I'm going to connect the video out and the audio out of the DVR directly to the board as well. finished building this small DVR screen. Let's just put a micro SD in the DVR and now we can connect it. You can see that it's working. You can see that there is free space on the SD card and now it's time to connect the quadcopter and see if we are receiving video correctly. And you can see that we are getting the video feed. You can see the picture quality is not great, so don't expect to fly FPV with it. But just to give an indication of how your VTX is doing, this should be fine. And of course, it will record video also to the DVR. And you can control the DVR functions using these buttons. So if you want to start recording, just press this button. And you can see this LED indicator is blinking, which stating the DVR is recording and you can press it again in order to stop the video recording. Overall, I think that the outcome is pretty nice. Eventually, I decided to place the DVR on the back of the receiver just because the hot glue didn't hold on. It makes a nice compact solution. And actually, I found that I can also power it with a 2S battery, so you don't have to use a 3S battery with this monitor. So 2S battery is gonna do just fine. Just a small advice for me, don't forget to use a buzzer or a voltage monitor to monitor the voltage of the battery because if the battery voltage per cell is going to run too low it can ruin the battery so just connect the buzzer and you'll do fine 
The total cost is about $60 or so, so it's not a cheap solution, but I found it quite fun to make. It gives a good option to record your videos with a diversity receiver and you'll be able to share your FPV experience with your surrounding. So I thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions about the build process or the products that I use, feel free to ask it in the comment section below and I'll see you on my next videos. Goodbye.